Mecca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Dragon's Dogma 2 and in this video I'm going to show you how to buy your first house. Doing so has a lot of benefits. You'll be able to rest without having to pay to stay at an inn. You'll be able to store some of your items so that you're not over encumbered and you'll even unlock an achievement or trophy. The first step to do this is to go to Vernworth which should happen in the first few hours of your game time and then you want to actually do some of the main missions until you get around 20,000 gold. That's just an amount we'll need later on in this quest line. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the south side of the Star Drop Inn, basically near the middle of the town center. And here you'll find a short alleyway, and you're going to be looking for a specific character who will likely not be there the first time you go. But luckily, there is a bench that you can sit on very close by. On that bench, you can doze off in order to progress time. You can then get up and check to see if they're there. And if they're not, you can go back to the bench and basically doze off again. And you can do this until they spawn. It may take you 10, 15 minutes to get them to spawn. Or feel free to go run some errands, do some missions, and eventually they should show up here. Their name is Mildred. As you approach Mildred, it should automatically start the conversation here and they're going to let you know that they're leaving for a week and that they have a house and they kind of need someone to use their house while they're gone. And this will kind of start a bit of a side mission called a place to call home. And to actually start the side mission, you now want to go to Mildred's house, which is just down the alley. You take a right hand turn and you should be able to find her just around the corner. But feel free to set the quest as a priority and it'll just show up on your map. Once you do go to Mildred, there'll be another conversation and you can accept the side quest, which is to basically babysit the house for the next week while they are gone. From this point on, there's kind of two ways you can tackle this. You can just basically treat this like a free rental where you go about your life, play the game, make progress, use this place to rest. Or if you want to buy the house as soon as possible, you can go inside, interact with the bed, sleep till morning, and then you'll wake up, rinse and repeat this process seven times, and eventually Mildred will come back from her mini vacation. As soon as she's back, which you'll know through your quest progress or just by exiting the door, you can exit that door and then have that conversation. Mildred has decided to move out of town and she'll make you a very good offer of allowing you to buy her dwelling from her for only 20,000 gold. And I would highly recommend you do that. It's not that much in the grand scheme of things and having a house is very useful later on in the game. At that point, you should unlock your achievement or trophy. And at this point, you now have a free place to stay, replenish your health, and there is storage inside of the house. You can use that storage, which is now going to be shared between all of the houses you purchase in the future. So you can drop stuff off without having to worry about coming back to this town. And it's a very useful game mechanic. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And I'll see you soon. Peace.